Yo, what's up guys? It's Visuals by Ty. Today I'm going to be bringing you another YouTube video. Today's video is going to be more of a tutorial based video showing you how to create music video frame templates inside of Photoshop. So it doesn't really matter what video editor you're using, whether it be Premiere Pro, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve. As long as you have Photoshop, you'll be able to create this effect and apply it to your music videos when you're promoting them on Instagram or any social media at that matter. So let's go ahead and hop into Photoshop and show you exactly how to do it. So once you open up Photoshop, obviously the first thing that you're going to want to do is go ahead and create a new document. This is taking a little bit to load. Here we go. So I already have a customized sizing as a five by five. So you want to just go to custom, select five, normally it'd be five and then five right here as well. Go ahead and hit create. Then you're going to want to come in your finder and figure out wherever it is that your photos, screenshots, whatever you're using. I'm going to be using screenshots from the actual video that I have on my desktop. So let's go ahead and drag this first photo into Photoshop. So I'm going to bring it down and figure out about where I want it. So I know I kind of want that much. And then let's hit enter for that one. I feel like that's a good spot for it. And then we want the other photo as well. So here's the other screenshot. We're going to want to bring that one in afterwards and we're just going to want to do the same thing find where you want it and it usually will auto align and have it perfectly laid out like this so you'll just hit enter and you'll have it like that the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to your brush effects and you're going to want to locate the brushes that i'm going to link in the description for you to download basically just a torn paper effect and it's just a stamp brush so you're going to want to click and select the brush that you have that you can use as this a brush file it's going to pull up this just go ahead and hit ok and make sure that you're on the normal brush tool and you're not on this one that says the history brush tool because some of the actual brushes will automatically bring you down here to that and it won't stamp in the right color and it's just a hassle so i had to deal with that so just make sure it's staying on the actual brush template that you're on so when you do have that, you're gonna wanna make the background cleared off. You don't want that there. And then you wanna select the first photo that you're doing and whichever tear that you wanna do, select that tear. We'll just go ahead and use this one. Boom. And you wanna make sure that that's a little too much. So let's just bring it down a little bit because you really don't need too much space. So you'll be like, right, let's do that much. And then you can kinda see that it did that, but let's Bring it down even a little bit more for this one and then we'll click it right there as well maybe even a little more and then once you have that that's basically all you're doing you're just stamping this green with the and it gives it a paper effect so that's literally all you're doing in photoshop so you want to go save this file and i'm going to name it ig promo video and you just want to change this instead of a PSD you want to make this a JPEG so and let's go ahead and put it on the desktop save it just hit OK then you're going to want to bring up Final Cut Pro and as you can see this is the one from earlier and this is going to be the same concept no matter what video editor you're using so let's go ahead and import it you can already see I kind of have a couple in there as I was playing around earlier with them. So you're gonna wanna come over here and locate the actual promo thing that you made in Photoshop. So you're just gonna wanna import that. Once you have that imported, it's this one right here. Basically just wanna drag that below all of your titles that you've made and make it the full length of the video. Once you have this, the full length of the video, you're going to notice that, you know, it depends on what timeline you're at, that it's not lining up. So you're going to want to go to your main project. You're going to want to go up, click on the project you're working on, go over to modify on the right hand corner over here. And then we're going to want to modify the size of this video. That way the promo will fit into the actual video. So you're going to do custom and we're going to leave that one at 1080 and we're just going to make this one 1080 as well and 24 frames per second. So one, once you've changed the resolution of your video um, and your project settings, your video is your basically just going to look like this. You're not really going to see 
the underneath video and you're only going to see the music video frame template that you made in Photoshop. So you're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to come up here under effects. You're going to hit clean, keying. You're going to hit click on keying. And here is the effect that you're going to want to drag right over here onto your IG promo banner that you made. So once you do that, all it's going to do is take out the green. So it's basically just like a green screen effect. It takes out the green. And... I already had these titles. You can basically just make your titles as you make them, place them wherever you want. But um, I already have these aligned, so I'm just gonna put those and then, you know, you basically just have it like that and then this is what you get. You have your promo style video. So yeah, this is the final product and it's gonna show the full video in here through the middle of wherever you cropped it. You can get more specific and crop it wherever you want if you wanna do it a little wider or whatever you wanna do. These titles right here, you can fully customize. It can be here, in the middle, wherever you want it, depending on the photo. This is just where I already had them. So here's the final video as well. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys because it was a little laggy in the screen recording. So this is what it actually looks like when there's no lag and the full video should just play through with the torn paper effect. So it's a little different than your normal straight bar style three layer video. So right guys, so that's it for the tutorial video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it helped you guys out. I know that when I was trying to create this effect and create this music video banner style type video, I was really struggling and I was having a problem finding tutorials online. The closest thing I did find was people were selling the actual templates for Photoshop that you could just import as well. So I figured I would just go ahead and give you guys a tutorial. That way you can save a little bit of money and that way you can just go ahead and do it yourself and it's fully customizable. Um, but yeah, feel free to like, subscribe, and that's it. See you next time. Peace.